Cincinnati Children's is the Department of Pediatrics at the College of Medicine. At Children's Hospital itself, where the graduate program is located, there are more than 11,000 employees, so this is a big place. This is one of the few programs in the country where a PhD program is integrated in a Department of Pediatrics and with a Children's Hospital. I think most people go into biomedical research because they're interested in asking questions and they want to give something back. And here at Cincinnati Children's, uh, you can do both. I never imagined I can make time-lapse movies using confocal microscope. I can see the cells in the embryo really moving. That's amazing. Cincinnati Children's Hospital is a world leader in molecular medicine. Research facilities at Cincinnati Children's are the largest in the U.S. for children's hospitals and are outstanding. Top quality basic science and the ability to use that information that I think sets our program apart. Not only are we a large-scale type of uh, research institute with the latest in technology, but we still have somehow managed to maintain a small family-like environment. We do our work not just in isolation, we interact with the clinicians every single day. It's almost like a research family. There's a rich history of scientific breakthroughs at Cincinnati Children's that have transformed the world of medicine and have led to life-saving therapies for children. The oral polio vaccine, developed by Dr. Albert Sabin at Cincinnati Children's, the world's first functional heart-lung machine, and most recently, the pioneering work of Dr. Jeffrey Whitsett on surfactant replacement therapy. In the intensive care unit here, we have many babies who have difficulty breathing, and many of the challenges in the transition from intrauterine life to postnatal life and air breathing require the maturation of the lung. Other scientists, like Dr. Jeffrey Robbins and Dr. Jeffrey Mulkentine at Cincinnati Children's, have received national recognition for their work on heart disease. Dr. Mulkentine is funded by the Howard Hughes Medical Institute. The students come in and they quickly assimilate these new technologies and they work between labs very, very uh, efficiently to bring novel techniques into a laboratory and they end up being a cornerstone for many of our laboratories and the success of our research. Research now suggests that the origins of many adult diseases arise in early childhood and so developmental biology is an increasingly important area of medical investigation and research. When students arrive, we get them immersed in their rotations and the exciting thing is, is that they have many options. Faculty and student interactions are outstanding. Approximately 70 faculty members, it's growing every year. Currently we have students from seven different countries in our laboratory. The students here are spectacular. This is recognized throughout the institution that the students here are really highly valued. They're not just cheap pairs of hands, they are really critical members of our research teams. So a combination of cutting edge facility and research in a collaborative environment really makes it one of the best places to be. Thesis committees work with our students, tracking their progress and ensuring they graduate with high quality publications. We actually design curriculum for each individual student and so they take courses and journal clubs based on their research interests and also in the research areas that they are they are going into. Graduates from the program enter a wide range of careers, including becoming faculty at major medical research centers, teaching at universities and undergraduate colleges, as well as entering the pharmaceutical and biotechnology industries. I never thought that I would get to teach so many um, summer students in my four years of um, graduate career so far and it's been an amazing experience. We really spare no resource when it comes to you know, using the latest technology and bringing that to the forefront to identify new ways to find genes and, and think about treatments for human disease. There's money for students to go to conferences that otherwise they might not be able to go to to present their research and to gain a better understanding of the current research in the field. Because Cincinnati Children's is a world leader, it doesn't impact just at this campus, but we disseminate our knowledge across the country and across the world. Very challenging, but yet at the same time, it's very rewarding. It's exciting to know you're doing something that someone else has never done before. Very rewarding to think that you're really putting together a piece of the puzzle. You're actually working on something that's important and it's helping families. Overall, I think everyone's on the same playing field and the overall goal is to help cure disease. And the graduate program here is, is almost the glue that binds us all together. Cincinnati is a very nice place to live in. 
Located on a bend in the Ohio River with four distinct seasons, there are many attractions in or nearby the city. If you want to go to the opera, if you want to go to the ballet, if you want to go to the orchestra, if you want to go to a band concert, if you want to go to plays, all of that's essentially, literally minutes away uh, from the workplace. really fell in love with the city, most, mostly because it's just so easy to live here and it's still large enough where there's enough kind of cultural flavor to the city that, that you can really enjoy yourself as well. One of the best zoos in the country, Kings Island Amusement Park, great art galleries and performing arts are also major attractions. The community as a whole is just active and fun. I love Cincinnati. The cost of living in Cincinnati is low compared to other major cities and students can expect to afford a good standard of living. We take about 10 to 13 students, new students, each year. A very unique type of student who really wants to make a difference in terms of not just science, but also medicine. Once students have applied and their application is reviewed, they're invited for an all-expenses-paid interview. We fly them in, pay all the expenses, um, put them up in a really nice hotel, and then they come here um, to interview with the faculty and also to meet the, um, the other students in the program. All of the students' tuition expenses are paid by the program, as well as competitive student stipends, health insurance, moving expenses, and of course, excellent training. They have a very competitive stipend, so I would put that out there as well. And a student can go anywhere here and do anything that she or he wants to do. The only limitation is the amount of information that you can absorb and your capacity to work. We invite you to consider the Molecular and Developmental Biology Graduate Program at Cincinnati Children's Hospital Medical Center and the University of Cincinnati College of Medicine, where world-class faculty train tomorrow's scientists. For more information, visit our website at www.cincinnatichildrens.org slash dbprog. I feel like I'm on my way to becoming a real scientist. <laughs>